Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this geometric heart-shaped necklace. But it's not just any type of necklace, it's a flash drive. So now you can keep all of your important files close to your heart. Let's get started. You'll need a tiny USB flash drive. I'll leave an affiliate link down below to where I got mine. Polymer clay, saran wrap, a piece of plastic, utility knife, two-part epoxy, eye pins, needle nose pliers, and chain. Here's the flash drive that I got. It's really tiny. The size of this thing will determine how big your heart will be, so keep that in mind when you're buying your flash drive. As I mentioned before, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description box below if you'd like to pick up one like this. First, you need to cut the plastic so it can be a barrier for the clay. I just cut a piece of plastic off of a piece of packaging from something that I bought the other day. Trace the end of the flash drive onto the middle of the plastic and use your utility knife to cut that rectangle out. Cover each side of the flash drive with a little bit of saran wrap. The very first time I did this, I didn't do this step and I paid for it later. So if you don't want to get super frustrated and regret your decisions later, then wrap it up. Stick the flash drive through the plastic, threading the extra saran wrap through as well. This will help keep it in place. You can try to tuck the extra saran wrap into the cover if there is not that much, and then close that onto the other side. It's not a big deal if you can't fit all of it in there. I couldn't. It just makes it so you have to be more careful about that side coming off while you're shaping the heart. Now take some clay and cover each side with it forming it into a rough heart shape. Once you're happy with the shape, you can use the utility knife to start shaving off the outside of the heart, giving it a geometric look. If you find your clay is too malleable and it's hard to get nice crisp edges, you can stick this whole thing into the freezer for about 30 minutes to let the clay firm up. So just keep doing this until you get the shape that you like. Be careful about cutting into where the USB or the cover is. If you do, just patch it up with a little bit of clay and it should be fine. And make sure that you're cutting these middle edges so that they match up with the other side. Cut your eye pins down to fit and stick them in on either side of the heart. I did this later, but you should do it at this point to make sure you don't deform the clay too much before you bake it. Now carefully remove the clay from the flash drive. Then carefully remove the saran wrap, taking care not to squish down on the clay so it doesn't get misshapen. You may have to use some needle-nosed pliers to help get the pieces out of the clay. This is the part where if you didn't use saran wrap, you would be paying for it because the clay will stick to the USB drive and you will not be able to get the pieces out without completely destroying all your hard work. Now bake according to the directions of your clay. Once it's all baked and cooled, you can test fit the flash drive. Be careful and don't force it too much. If you do, you may end up cracking the clay, like me, and having to redo one of the sides again and again. If the flash drive won't fit, you can use a utility knife to carefully carve out some of the hole, going little by little until the USB fits. Mix up a little bit of the two-part epoxy, spread into the holes, and insert the flash drive. I also added a dab of epoxy on each eye pin because they wanted to keep sliding out. I'm sure you could probably use hot glue or something to glue the USB in, but I just wanted it to be extra secure, so that's why I chose the two-part epoxy. Let everything cure. This is optional, but you can further refine the shape of your heart at this point. Put the heart together and use your utility knife to slowly shave off the outside again. You have to be really careful here and make sure that you don't cut into where the cover of the USB is because there's not really any turning back. You can't really fix it after this point. So now you can move on to adding the chain or you can seal the clay. I wanted it to look shinier, so I sealed it by buffing on some renaissance wax.
and then I used the shaft of a screwdriver to burnish each flat part until it was nice and shiny. Of course, you could just use some polyurethane or something that is compatible with polymer clay if you want it to be even glossier. Now just attach the chain to each part of the heart and then you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Pinterest, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.